Dopamine detox. I would like to illuminate this topic from a more neutral perspective and see from a psychological perspective also how it makes sense, why it makes sense and why it might not make sense in some situations. Also this video itself will be basically a dopamine detox. I'm not adding any pictures, any music, any videos. It will be just me talking. I'm talking about this concept here. I am a psychologist. I think I can share some valuable stuff here. Take your time uh, and then at the end you can decide whether you would like to do a dopamine detox or not. First of all, what is dopamine? Because if I, I watch some YouTube videos about dopamine detox to see what other people are saying about this topic and I feel like a lot of people are demonizing this dopamine. Dopamine is, dopamine is the reason for why we basically don't live our good life and it's just addictive. Well, dopamine is very important. Did you know that, for example, Parkinson patients, if, like they shake if they take medicamentations and they have struggles with like initiating movement, they actually have a lack of dopamine in a specific part in their brain. Also, depressed people, they have a lack of dopamine right behind their forehead. Here, this is basically the brain part where you rationally think and inhibit yourself and stay focused and they lack that. And this is why they're also, for example, really bad students, depressed people, because they can't focus and inhibit themselves from distractions. They're always like mind wandering and thinking about negative things. So dopamine is key. Dopamine itself, what is it? It's a happiness hormone. There are a lot of different happiness hormones out there. Dopamine is the one that basically makes you feel like, wow, nice. It's when you, for example, drive the roller coaster or when you take cocaine or when you watch an exciting YouTube video or somebody's blowing something up. <laughs> this is like, wow, this is dopamine, right? But there are also different happiness hormones. For example, if you do sports afterwards, Yes, while doing sports, you also get dopamine. But afterwards, you feel like calm. You feel like, ah, oh, nice. This was really nice. Or after a good meal. This is serotonin. This is a different, serotonin is a different happiness hormone, right? So there are different happiness hormones in there, in your brain. And dopamine is one of them. Now, why does dopamine detox make sense? And I really need to quickly talk about the neurobiology here behind to understand what is going on here. Please stick here with me to really understand how this is working. Now, let's imagine, let's take an extreme example. You, you use cocaine, which is releasing a lot of dopamine in your brain. Well, actually we have neurons, which are our cells in our brain, and you release this between the cells. And then the cells are taking them within 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 the soma within the cell now when you release that within the cell let's say here are two cells and here's the dopamine in between you pick it up right your, your brain is picking this dopamine up with receptors receptors are basically the gateways which take up the dopamine from this gap here in the cell now you love that dopamine rush but your brain is also thinking wait this is way too much dopamine we should actually not produce any more of those receptors so we can't take everything so fast in so it's not like overwhelming right and this is happening over time over time this is why drug addicts always take more and more of this drug because you have less and less of those receptors so yes there's a lot of dopamine in here but you can't really take this on so so much so you need more and more dopamine to experience the same rush because it takes a little bit more time to take this in. And this is how addiction works. And this is the same with your phone, then you watch more and more YouTube and slowly, it kind of, yeah, messes with your reward system, right? This entire dopamine system is basically your reward system because you have less and less receptors. Now imagine you're not watching a crazy YouTube video anymore with explosions and huge stuff, but you just watch me talking. This then will be suddenly like, oh, what a bummer. It's not really interesting, right? Because you have less receptors and then there's only a little bit dopamine coming in here, such as this video, not, nothing crazy, nothing like, wow, oh. right? And then you're like, oh wait, this is boring. I need again, this huge, interesting stuff. I want to do something crazy. So you get this kick. And now by doing this dopamine detox, you're not having so much dopamine for a couple of days and weeks in your brain. So your brain is thinking, wait, I have a little bit too few dopamine. Let's build 
more of those receptors again so I can really take everything that I have in here again, right? So your reward system basically recovers with um, addicts, for example, crystal meth addicts. This is the drug with the most dopamine release. There really your brain is messed up on the long run and sometimes it can't even recover from that because your reward system is really so, so messed up and destroyed. But when we talk about, and I feel like a lot of people talk about cell phone, social media, when they talk about detox, definitely you can recover. And there is some recover happening that you then, then feel more sensitive against to things, right? You don't listen to music for weeks and then you listen to it again. It's like, wow, nice. I really feel and appreciate the song or a video that I watch. I'm not so impatient anymore. Always want to have the, like skip the video so I can see the most amazing thing. Interesting. This is the reasoning behind. Though the question now kicks in, and this is what you always want to ask yourself if you do something. Is, okay, why would I like to do this detox? Because maybe I do this after two weeks and then anyway, I will, I will guess that you will probably fall back into old behavioral patterns because nothing changed, right? Maybe you throw your phone away for two weeks, but then you're at it again. Your day is as usual. Maybe you come home from work, you feel stressed. So you're like, oh, okay, let's watch some YouTube videos. You will be back again. Maybe you, you gain some awareness and you're like, oh wow, I'm really aware how addicted I am, for example, to my cell phone. But generally, nothing will really change. So I would like to ask you, hey, why are you considering this detox? Why? Is it because you want to be happy? Is it because you want to live a rich and fulfilled life? Okay, then we're talking about not wanting to do the detox, but wanting to do to live a good life. Okay, what does it mean to you? I actually, I want to travel the world. Okay, maybe you should not focus on not ch checking your phone and more like focusing on, okay, building a daily one hour habit on researching where I want to travel and how I actually actualize that and work towards that, right? Also, and this is what I really, I really dislike about those people who are very Focus and be like, oh, you need to let go of this dopamine thing and do the detox. Because you have a much broader picture that you need to take. And you need to think, okay, for example, it's your phone. Why do I always check my phone? Oh, because I feel lonely and maybe I feel stressed and this is my stress release. Interesting. By just pushing this away and doing a detox, the stress is still there. The loneliness is still there. You're not tackling that. Maybe you have those days when you're like, I don't know, visiting your parents or going out for a hike with friends for a couple of days. You don't even think about your phone because the context is different. You feel connected, you feel in ease. And then you're like, oh wait, I didn't really check my phone for two days. Maybe like once in between, but I didn't really check it. That's great. And then you're back at the same context. You're back at the same point where you're at. You again, maybe feel lonely or whatever. So you want to get a big, bigger picture behind that, not be so focused and be like, I have to just do it because you, you will relapse. You will end up at the same place you will be. And then you're like, wait, I put all this effort into this detox and now I'm at the same point again. And this is called learned helplessness. You learned that, hey, I do something, I try to change, I put effort into something, but it's not helping. I'm helpless. And this is, again, making you let go of motivation and you're like, oh shit, anything, what I'm doing, it doesn't matter. I can just watch some YouTube videos, right? And then you demotivated. You look at all those successful people and you look at those people who talk about detox and you're like, hey, I can't do this or it's not helping me. And then you get demotivated, right? So get a broader picture of what is going on and the, ask yourself the deeper question. Why would I like to do the detox? What would I like to do instead? Why am I addicted or, or focused on those habits of checking my phone? What is the reason behind to then introduce some strategies, maybe substitute this negative habit or whatever. You can check my YouTube channel. I have also some videos about habit change. And actually, I'm also a one-on-one -on -one coach. I help people to change their behavior on the long run. So we can also have a free first call. Um, yeah, I hope you watched until now. <laughs> I hope this video was exciting enough. Um, I hope you gained some insights. And I'm asking you now, what does it mean for you? Practically, right? Watching this video is not changing anything. But I'm asking you, 
which shift took place in your brain. What would you like to do different from now on? Write this in the comment below, make a commitment, think about this maybe again, get, a, get the big picture. Also subscribe to this YouTube channel if you want to. I'm really trying to give you deep insights about your psychology, understand you better from a much more bigger perspective and not the just do it perspective, but understanding the psychology behind. All right, I wish you a beautiful day. Bye.